But now the persecution is becoming really serious. Herod Agrippa I is the first Jewish king since Herod the Great. Because he was friends with the emperor in Rome, he is allowed to be king. And this is from 41 to 44, where he's allowed to be king in Judea. He was the brother of Herodias. If you remember reading in Mark chapter 6 about uh, a Herod there that was Herod Antipas, the Tetrarch of Galilee, um, he, he married his uh, brother's wife, Herodias. Well, Herodias' full brother was Herod Agrippa I. He was party buddies with Gaius Caligula before Caligula became emperor. And he became the first official Jewish king since his grandfather, Herod the Great. His grandmother, Mary Amni, was a Hasmonean princess. And that made him look good to the people because Herod the Great was Idumean ethnically. So his people were happy. This is the first uh, Jewish king with the, with the blood of, of the Hasmoneans, the Maccabees, in his veins as well. He was very popular with the people. He was also very eager to please, which sometimes got him in trouble in Rome. He, he threw his money around uh, trying to please everybody there and ended up in some serious debts. Well, he did the same thing in Judea. Uh, he was very eager to please, as in fact the, the text here says he wanted to please uh, the Judeans and apparently particularly the most conservative religious Judeans. So he was emphasizing his Judean identity just as he emphasized his Roman identity when he was in Rome. You know, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. Well, when in Judea, do what the Judeans do. He, he wanted to please people. He was very pro-Pharisaic and frequented the temple. We know this from, from Josephus. Well, he arrests James, the brother of John. Uh, Jacob is, is really uh, what, it, what it says, but in the New Testament, for some reason, Jacob is always translated James. And he beheads him, just like John the Baptist was beheaded back in Luke 9.9. 9. In this period, usually the sword was used rather than the axe. Beheading was considered more merciful. It was especially uh, necessary for Roman citizens. But as, as a king, he held the power of the use gladius, the power of the sword, the power of life and death. The Sanhedrin didn't have that. They had to have the governor's approval. But there was no governor of Judea during this uh, brief period. It was just uh, his own reign. This actually sparked a, a period of growing Judean nationalism as they saw, oh, we can have our own king. What do we do when tragedy strikes us? James has been beheaded. Now Peter is arrested. Well, that's two of the leading apostles what can the church do? Chapter 12 and verse 3. This was during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. The person who reads Luke and Acts together uh, will, will recall from Luke's first volume that was the time of Jesus' execution in Luke 22.7. Agrippa sometimes executed people for public entertainment. It was part of his way of pleasing people. We know that from Josephus. He... Uh, and it was public entertainment. Doing it at a festival served as a warning, but it also had the, the, the largest number of people, not just as a warning, but also the largest number of people there who would appreciate entertainment. We know that uh, Herod Agrippa I gave generously to Gentiles outside of Judea, but his policies were more popular with his Jewish subjects. He catered to the majority whims, his soldiers in Caesarea, his Gentile soldiers in Caesarea, uh, who, who had to answer to him, even though they were um, soldiers of Rome, they hated him. We also see that from Josephus. But, but Judeans, Jewish Judeans loved him. 